Thank you for coming on. on this show. So let's start off by you telling us what is community energy? That's the title of the debate. What does it mean? Well, it means um, small social enterprises, often community owned uh, uh, companies that um, produce energy and would ideally sell them directly back into the local community. Currently, that is very difficult because the cost to entry, as, as we say, um, is too high. And let's explain that a, a little bit. There's the national grid, um, and then there are local distribution companies, like, for example, in our area, um, Western Power Distribution. Um, and using the grid, like using the motorway, has a cost. It includes also liabilities when there are outages and so on and so forth. So for small players, these entry costs to use the national grid um, to bring energy in, into households is too high. Uh, and therefore, we need to change something. We just want to pay our bills and not get ripped off by the big suppliers for, you know, putting the heating on. Shouldn't that be the policy goal rather than an alternative, more complicated solution? It's not a more complicated, it's an easier solution. And um, the good thing about community energy projects is it brings actually local people on board to um, getting to net zero, which is what we absolutely need to do. And if we don't do it quickly, it will cost consumers even more. So unfortunately, um, community energy is currently not part of the net zero strategy for the government. And yet it is well known uh, that community energy projects um, are exactly those that bring people on board and actually make it cheaper. Because imagine um, the small companies have to sell it to the big companies and they then sell it back to the consumer. So um, that's an additional cost. Uh, it's much cheaper actually um, to supply directly and also community energy pro uh, projects and reinvest in the community and have done a lot of retrofitting. Actually, it will become cheaper for the consumer rather than more expensive. And are there many of these schemes already in existence? Um, there are. Um, uh, and in, in Bath, we have got Bath um, and West um, Community Energy who have um, already done a, a great work. They are having the potential to deliver directly to 4,000 homes. But the potential of the sector is 12 to 20 times higher. And this potential is not currently realized because the regulations are outdated. They're from the 1990s. We need a new model. And we want the government to put their mind to it. We want to work with the government to create a model that is far better for the future, um, and particularly to get to net zero and get people on board and take ownership of getting to net zero. How much expertise do you need to set up one of these community energy schemes? If somebody is watching and thinks, well, that sounds like a good idea, where do you even start? <laughs> well, um, I am not somebody who has run a community energy project. So the best thing to do is probably to, to um, find out um, through your local council, for example, whether there are already existing projects um, and then talk to the people either to join or find out um, a bit more what it takes to set up your own community energy project or um, company.